Hello YouTube, welcome back. We are now officially three races into the season and I feel like we've gotten a pretty good idea of how the team's performance is at this point. So what I wanna do is do a tier list ranking of the F1 teams at this point in the season. So please don't comment when you see this video in August and say, oh Josh, these are so dumb. Yeah, I know that this is gonna change, but right now on April 18th when I'm making this, what teams are the best and what teams are sucking? So, here's the dealio, guys. We've got we've got a lot of options here. Um, if you've never made a tier list, basically you have you have S tier, A, B, C, D, you know, the usual. Um, S tier, easy S tier is Ferrari. Honestly, Ferrari is by themselves in the S tier at the moment. No one is really challenging them. They've been consistent. They've been fast. There's there's just a lot, you know. There's a lot that they're doing great. Now now we get into everyone else, and this is where it gets interesting. I think easy D tier is Aston Martin. Aston Martin, I'm sorry. I love you, but you're going to have to be D tier. That's just a fact. Um, it's unavoidable, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, it, you're just not... You're not good this year. I'm sorry. So now we get to the rest of the field, um, and this uh, this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, so we're just gonna kind of work our way left to right, and, and we're gonna see how we're feeling. Uh, Alpha Tauri. Uh, for now, I'm gonna put them in a solid B tier. Just just while we wait, uh, just so we kind of figure out where everyone goes. Williams, I think, is a pretty easy C tier. They've only scored one point at, at this point, um, and it was a great strategy, but also, again, they've only scored one point. Uh, Alfa Romeo has been surprising, so I'm going to stick them, honestly, uh, A tier, um, but they'll probably be bottom of A tier. So yeah, Alfa Romeo, I would put uh, A tier, probably bottom of A tier, though. Um, and here's where it gets interesting. So race one, McLaren would have been here, honestly. Let's be real. Um, race two and, and three, um, I would still put them bottom of B tier for the moment. And I know people are going to hate me for this, but they're, they had one really good race and the other races have not been that good. So if they, I, I could see them easily being bottom of A tier or top of B tier, but for the moment they are bottom of B tier. So that's just, that's just how it's going to be. I'm sorry guys. That's just how it's going to be. Red Bull, um, I would put A tier uh, because, yeah, they've had some issues. They've had some problems, but their their speed is there. Their pace is there, um, and they, they're, they're doing well all together, honestly. Uh, and now we have three left, and these three are very interesting because, like, we've seen Alpine speed. Alonso was on track for probably a pole lap in Australia, but just, you know, bend it, didn't really get it together. Haas has been surprisingly consistent. Australia, not a great race for them. Um, I would put Haas top of B tier, honestly. Um, I would put Mercedes bottom of A tier. And, and I know this is really going to, this is going to piss some people off because I'm going to put them bottom of A tier. It's going to piss other people off because they're, they're going to think it's too high and some people are going to think it's too low. So I'm not going to win, but I do have to say Alpha has looked more consistent, but I think that either this weekend or in the next couple races, Mercedes and Alpha, they will switch spots. Um, and, and that's just the way it's going to be. Um, and then we have Alpine. Um, and honestly, probably going to put Alpine here, top of B tier. Um, maybe bottom of A tier. You know what? Actually, bottom of A tier. I'm going to put them bottom of A tier. I'm going to do it. Going to get saucy with it and do it. Um... Just because we've seen their pace, we've seen their speed, we've seen the things that they can do, and they have a lot of good potential. It'll all depend on, you know, what happens and, and what goes on the season, but they could do very well. Let's compare this to the current constructor standings. Uh, Ferrari, Mercedes, Red Bull, McLaren. McLaren before they know it. Alpine, Alpha, Haas, Alpha Tauri, Williams, Aston. Yeah, which I would say this is a pretty good comparison. Again, I'm basing this off of the last three races in a whole. And yes, McLaren had a really good last race in Australia. So it really bumped them up. But at the end of the day, 
I could see and this is gonna be a very close battle this fourth through through eighth is gonna be a very close battle for fourth um, I think Ferrari honestly could probably run away with a constructors championship this year I don't think they'll run away with the drivers championship but I think they could run away with the constructors championship Mercedes and Red Bull will be fighting again uh, for that second spot uh, I don't know I said again because they weren't really fighting for second last year but they will be fighting again uh, and yeah, this is how this is how it's gonna look. I will revisit this. I will make a new tier list, maybe summer break, just to get an idea of like what these changes are. Because ideally, what I could see happening is Red Bull coming up here uh, to the bottom of S tier, Mercedes coming here, McLaren coming to A tier, and Haas also coming to A tier, um, and Alpha dropping down probably uh, to B tier, more than likely. Um, so this is my prediction for what summer break would look like if I were to guess after some upgrades perchance perhaps maybe Mercedes bumps their way into S tier at this point though it doesn't feel like they're going to you know um, they're still gonna be battling but I, I think they're gonna be struggling with this car for a long time this season which is really gonna set them back so yeah that is my ah, poop right now I lost it where was it it was here it was here it was here whatever you you all saw what it was um yeah those are those are my predictions uh i just changed it for so you would just ignore these ones maybe i can just overlay the correct one on this one but yeah those are my predictions um comment below what you think if you think i'm crazy or stupid or insane i don't know i don't care um but yeah uh, i'm very interested to see how the season plays out and how correct these tier lists are and you know how close it stays thanks for watching like and subscribe